Well, course. President Trump calling for <laughs> changes to immigration programs such as diversity visa and chain migration after recent terror attacks in New York City. This is new analysis from the Center for Immigration Studies shows 2016 tied a record for immigrants coming to America. Should immigration be a focus of the Trump administration in 2018? American Islamic Forum for Democracy President Zudi Jasser joins me now. Dr. Jasser, good to see you. I, this is Great very you, interesting Nitesh. because, you know, it, there's a reality that we're facing right now, and I know that you've talked about this at length, and that the, the terrorism we're seeing today is coming um, from radical jihadists, and these radical jihadists are coming from certain parts of the world. Do you think we need to clamp down on this immigration from certain parts of the world? We absolutely need to clamp down on our method of immigration, and the fact that it's, it's just baffling to me as the son of immigrants who came here for political reasons, as refugees, ideologically embracing the American contract, what it means to be an American, it's baffling to me that we yet have no mechanism for vetting for merit or ideology. If you look at these last two terror attacks in New York, the October 31st attack, Sapov came from Uzbekistan as part of the diversity lottery program, as if America is, is a lottery uh, 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 process of coming here, which it's not. And then the last attack, December 11th, was, was a chain migration uh, benefactor who came from Bangladesh and tried to commit an act, a suicide bombing attack. So we, would, we should take these as signal events to remind us that we need to overhaul our program so that it is based on merit and it is based on uh, um, ideological filters against jihadists, against Islamists, and we begin to work with reformists. And we haven't even begun that process, so I hope... Trish, in 2018, President Trump convenes a whole-of-government process, a commission on radical Islam, to begin to plug these holes that continue to find mechanisms of getting into so, our so country. So what do you say? Look, I agree with you. But what do you say to people who say, well, you know what? That's somehow religious discrimination. You're discriminating based on someone's religion uh, by looking at them more carefully than, say, someone else. That's a diversionary response. It is not true. This is not about religion. Islamism is a theopolitical ideology that's about theocracy. Our founding fathers rejected theocracy but embraced God, embraced their own interpretations of Christianity. I don't want to vet as a Muslim. I want Muslims who believe in the American contract to come here, as I do Christians, uh, people who have no faith. As long as they embrace Americanism and liberty, then they should be allowed to come here. But right now we have no vetting mechanism, and the identity left wants to create so much noise in the room about identity politics that somehow Islam is a race when in fact it's an ideology and there's a significant portion of people who happen to be Muslim that are theocrats that don't have a right to come here. It's a privilege to come here and there's no there's no written in the Constitution that it's a suicide pact that we must let communists in, Islamists or jihadists in. Only those who share our ideas. Well, thank you very much. It's always good to hear your ideas. Dr. Jasser. Thank you.